It's if just, you yeah. are able to kind of get around like the bounce and get around the full bring and all of that, <laughs> the bounce arc was weird. Not, yes, it was weird. That was a weird arc. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. I'm like, are this these nigga vampires? Was re- this nigga was reaching really? when he, yeah. I'm like, nigga, <laughs> vampires? Come on, right. this ain't it, bro. Welcome to Color Fucking Anime, where we talk about anime from a colorful perspective. I'm your host, Lance. I got Jordan with me. Yo. Um, I'm Red Eye AV on all socials, and we back, man. We back. It's, it's been a while. How you doing, it's man? It's been a minute, bro. <laughs> like, we took like two months off. It's been it a two minute. Two and a half, three months. It's, Too long. I don't think we've recorded since June. Since June. Since June. And it's September 1st. So, man, it's been, it's been a hot minute. I am so sorry. It's been a hot minute. There's been plenty of updates. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> plenty of updates. All right, we'll get there. I guess we we said we were going to do life updates first. Yeah. And for y'all, for some of y'all who don't know, um, because I am a serial podcaster, <laughs> I've started another podcast nice. called the yep. Takeover Rap Podcast. Um, and it's everywhere that you can find podcasts. And also on YouTube as well. I'm doing that with my buddy, John. Um, that's a lot of fun because I could probably stop m- m- referencing rap as much as i do in this podcast <laughs> hopefully i, I mean can- <laughs> you good i just don't know as much as everybody else know about it. well you know like i don't know who tunes i mean we have a unique perspective yeah. but i don't know who tunes in just to hear me like reference rap uh so i'm glad <laughs> i have a podcast that's just for that there so um but yeah man, rap heads. Uh, what am i doing right now i'm in school right now and i have a math class that's kicking my butt and uh I you know you on that and my work is is it's busy. It's it's uh it's getting there. You know, I'm I'm doing a lot of different things and whatnot. So, but I'm excited. I'm not. Um, I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for life. Busy, but in a good way. That's all That's I can say. So yeah, I had a major life update since the last time we uh, were on the pod. <laughs> I think so. Uh, my wife gave birth. Hey. Um. So I ha- <clears throat> excuse me. So I have a one month old baby now. Uh, her name is Emma Rose. Um. And she is amazing. And she is hella mixed. For those, yeah, I was say, for the, for those that don't know or or haven't heard it before, my wife is 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 Latina. She's Mexican and Guatemalan, and I'm black and white. My dad is black. My mom is white, and so our baby is European, African, and Latina. So she hella mixed. She from everywhere. She just yeah. not. I mean, she not Asian at all. But no, she gonna have she the pretty much time everything else. Out standardized tests. I'm they telling make you, you she's gonna check every single box. <laughs> like, uh, she's <laughs> checking the ethnicity boxes. She's checking the race boxes. She's checking everything. <laughs> They're asking all these questions about you know. I, I we took her to the pediatrician for her, uh, her like uh, newborn appointment. Yeah, and I'm filling out the demographic information. Yeah, and they had a box, and it had like for. You know, because a lot of times it'll just be like, are you Hispanic? Yes or no. Like, yeah. and you just check yes or no. And then, but this one, they went, they like took it to 10. They were like, are you Hispanic? Yes or no. And then they had like a list. They're like, of like all these different Hispanic countries. They were you? like, <laughs> are you Mexican? Are you? And then they just had like a whole ass list. Yeah. And so I had to check Mexican for her. And then I had to like, like write in Guatemalan because I wasn't an option. Right. Which is... <laughs> Yeah, my thing is like, I mean, I'm glad that they allowed to write in. It could be yeah, worse. Right, they and they had like, like a little other box. We just gonna assume you the Mexican. Yeah, we don't really know what Puerto Rico is, so whatever. <laughs> like that all never right. makes sense to me. It's like you either are Hispanic, Mexican, or we don't know where you're from. But I'm like, bro, right. this is we all it's took like, social studies, bro. I feel like, like yeah, <laughs> in the United States, if you're if you're of Hispanic or Latin origin, and somebody ain't called you Mexican at least once, you ain't even living. Right. <laughs> you ain't been enough. On, you ain't been around enough white folk. But yeah, so it's been, you know, fatherhood is awesome. It's been a fun journey. Um, I've already I've already dipped her toes into the anime world. Hey, she don't um, even know. She don't even know yet. She was watching she was watching Dragon Ball Super with me the other day. Nice. And it was funny because like she likes to be turned outward so she can like look around. Yeah. And like she can't really see that far yet. But like she'll like fixate on like l- like light sources and yeah. like um so like we have this projector in our front in our living room. And I had just DBZ or uh, Dragon Ball Super on the on the uh, screen, and it was like late at night. My wife is already asleep, and so her and I just sitting here watching Dragon Ball Super. And I was like, "This is this is what I this is what I was waiting for." She's <laughs> yep. not big enough for the anime clothes that I bought her yet, because I wanted to wait till she was like at a size where she right. could actually no, be that size for a or few at least months. for a period of time. Yeah, like, I heard because like, right now she's already. Like, I mean, she's already grown out of some of the clothes we bought her, and she's only a month old. So yeah. 
you know, but so that's a, that's a huge life update for me because yeah. that's totally different. And I look forward to like the TikTok videos and the pictures and everything of her dressed up. Yeah. Because I already have, I have a uh, Naruto costume for her. I have uh, Goku's fit for her. Yeah. What else I got? I think I got an Akaski robe. I got a bunch of stuff. That's so what's up. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped to dress her up and, and, and animate things and show her off on social media. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would expect anything to, to, to the To the disdain of my mother, who <laughs> does not understand anime. She's like, what is this? Yeah. It's just, you're, yeah, she, you're yeah, indoctrinating she, her She don't get something. it, yeah. Oh, I totally am. Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> Without yeah. a doubt. <laughs> um, we, so my wife and I, we have matching Pikachu onesies that my wife bought us, which is for our like first wedding anniversary, mm-hmm. which freaking cute idea. Yeah. And I applaud yeah. her for that. That's uh, we're finna get my daughter a Pikachu onesie so that we can just be like a little Pikachu family. Yeah, that's yeah, gotta right. be the Christmas fit for sure. Yeah, or like you know, like the Christmas Day pictures yeah. that folks yep. are taking. Yep, you just all Pikachu. So yeah, I'm I'm with it. Man, so this podcast definitely sounds a lot emptier than the last time <laughs> we were here. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, let's get right to it. So a couple months ago. Uh, Chris and Malcolm, who have been on the show and who have been on many a episodes, sharing their takes, yeah. providing their perspective. Um, both of them, and especially Malcolm, help edit a lot of stuff in, um, uh, you know, uh, all the different graphics you will see on the screen. Uh, creating the what are you reading, watching <laughs> jingle. Yes, um, which is fire. Which is fire. Um, <laughs> Uh, Chris and Malcolm have decided to no longer be a part of the show. I, I mean, I think I just want to say that, like, I appreciate what they what they've contributed, yeah, what definitely. they've all of the stuff that they put into this show. Um, the time that you know, like, we were in Chris's house. Um, yeah, for a long time recording. Yeah, that's yeah. Which is why I don't have nearly as many pictures in my house. Um, <laughs> we're, we're we'll get there. Eventually. We'll get there. Just we're not there. Um, this was. Just as you know, it's different um, with that adjustment. So you know, I just so I just want to take this time honor them. You know, what I mean, like uh, if you, I don't think Chris is on socials at all, uh, but I think Malcolm is still in a bunch of anime groups and stuff like that. So if you, if you see him or if you are friends with him, just mm-hmm. let him know, yo, you were dope. You were dope, folks, and uh, you did. Uh, you we miss you on the pod. Um, yeah, so. Chris is still very active in our in our Discord. So if you want to flame Chris in the Discord, that is still <laughs> that is still an that is still an option. And I will applaud you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that that should be great. So man, so yeah, so yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if you have anything to add to that or say about that. I mean, yeah, it's been you know, it's been obviously been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of roster changes since we started this. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think a lot of people know because we we. Uh, our fan base has changed a lot since we started, our, but we've yeah, been, we've been base, doing this yeah. for like what, like what, three, four years it, now? It's, it's been about like four years. It's about that time. Yeah, I think it's been a little over three years now yeah. we've been doing this. Yeah, and I, so it's completely it's the only like you and I are like this. This was our brainchild, right? And then because we actually had a different podcast where we had like one or two anime themed episodes. Yeah, and then yeah. we're like, yo, let's just why don't do we just, like, why don't we just have an anime podcast? <laughs> just makes sense. Yeah, right. So we've had, you know, they're added to the list of illustrious members who have gone before them, oh, yeah. Frankie and Hakeem. Yeah, they're, they're all A jerseys is up in the CFA <laughs> yeah, roster right, uh, in the Raptors roster. <laughs> right now as we speak. Ah, that's funny. It, that's true. It's funny because I think, you know, I remember because when, when Hakeem was a part of it, as he was close to transitioning off, I started working with him on like music and stuff. So yeah. that was like three, four years ago or whatnot. So, but yeah, no, we definitely have had some changes i mean and with that i mean you can't expect more changes you know we're i tried i've tried to just take time to think about how to make this podcast more engaging for the listeners for the people that watch on youtube um and for everybody in between um our patreon is trying to figure out like what does um, a good experience look like for a space like this we still want to be the place that gives a very colorful perspective on various anime topics, give anime reviews and things like that. But how do we expand that? You know, even being with less folks, how do we expand that? And we, and we're going to be trying out and you're going to be seeing some new things in the next, yeah, definitely. you know, few weeks and you'll see episodes of um, different kind of things that we're trying out because it's just me and Jordan. And, and we really want to maximize the entertainment value for y'all and also kind of, 
create more talking pieces for y'all as y'all, you know, are watching uh, as She Hulk comes out or as um, <laughs> the new uh, the, Lord know, of the Rings, movie. the Rings of Power. The, yeah, the Rings of ah. Power. And, and we really want to find different ways yeah. to highlight those things in a way that don't sound like two hours um, in, a, yeah. in a podcast. So. You can expect shorter podcasts. Sorry, guys. I mean, I don't, I don't know if we could talk. We could probably talk two hours about a bunch of random things, yeah. but try to every week. I think that's how we were running it. Two hours every week. You know, that's a lot. So you can expect that shift. But ultimately, that would just leave for just better entertainment for y'all. Well, I feel that. like, too, with, you know, our changing content or changing format, like we want to hear like what kind of content y'all want us to talk about, yeah. like. Yes. If you guys, you know, like current events, if you want us to review shows, if you want us to, you know, you got topics you want us to talk about, you know, like obviously we want to hear from you guys because, you know, we want to make like, like Lance said, we want to make content that you guys want to like, like that you want to engage with and that and that you want to hear. So like if you want us to like bag on other content, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, if you want like more Abba and Preach style content, uh, right. we can Abba and Preach it up. Um but um, no, nah, like we want to hear from y'all what y'all want. Like I, I'm super appreciative of the of folks in the Discord who are super active. Yes. Um, shout outs to you guys specifically, uh, Cooper and Aries. Yeah. Um, cause you know obviously you know we always talk about Coop. That's my boy. Yeah. Uh, that's my day one. Um, and uh, but Aries is super active. Of the show. I'm just gonna say on the podcast, I don't think I've ever seen anybody fly through much anime as much anime as I've seen Aries fly through. Yeah. That man. Yeah. I think he's almost caught up on One Piece. Which is he insane. started watching a couple months because, ago. Because like I started. He also like was watching ago. Hunter Hunter. He's watching Black Clover. He's watching Look, uh You must got one of them jobs that they don't really be supervising. <laughs> He'd be watching job. Netflix at work. Just be because uh, <laughs> I, I got a whole story about that. Go ahead though. <laughs> no, nah, but I'm telling you, this man, I'm like, bro, how do you, do you watch anything else? Right. Like he just man just like binging the hell. Out. Okay, Chris has lost her title of binge god to Aries. Aries is the new binge god. <laughs> that's that's your title. You should put that in the Discord, bro. Binge yeah. god, um, because that's your title now. Um, so yeah, I mean it goes down in the Discord. We have multiple channels that we you know we talk about what's going on, talk about general stuff. We have multiple chats for like more spoilery content for specific uh, series. Um, but yeah, I mean, we just, and it's fun to just interact with folks, and yeah. you know, so and yeah, and 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 like I said, that will be. Uh, I, I, I don't know, you don't even know this. I'll pause the Patreon Patreon for last month, probably even going into next month. We'll we'll restart it, and I'm gonna be asking. I'll I'll be, I'll be sending out forums and stuff like that to figure out like the folks in the Discord, like what what would what would you want in a you know a good Patreon experience? So be expecting that because y'all feedback has. That's literally been the growth of this show. It's listening to y'all being like, yo, we appreciate y'all live show. We appreciate when yeah. y'all covered this or we appreciate y'all perspective on um, not Dr. Strange, but the one before it. Uh, uh, I Taxi or you know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like those different things. So just know that like without y'all, the listeners, the viewers, this wouldn't exist. This wouldn't be where it is. I, 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 I consider myself a creative, which is why I keep just popping out podcasts like like babies and right. stuff like <laughs> is but these are your babies right but ultimately without the viewers without the listeners without the patrons without folks in the discord and on the in our facebook group we would not be where we are today so i just want to say thank y'all this isn't an announcement for like oh man it's over this is yeah, an we're not quitting yeah right this is this is an announcement to just highlight that, that something new is happening and something new you will expect new things and and i think it's going to be good I'm, I'm excited about it yeah for sure and so looping back to one thing that we were doing before we went on break yes let's do is it our, is our shonen showdown so we we're having our little shonen bracket tournament yeah um on our social media pages but we haven't forgot like about y'all we did promise y'all a gift card we haven't forgot so, yes um, the last time we left off, we left off in the semifinals, mm -hmm. and we, we was had, like right at the we had, yeah, we were right at the end too. We were My like, bad, we were My like bad. one episode, we were like one episode away from finishing that bad boy. So we have the results of the Eastern Conference Finals versus the Western Conference Finals. Yes. Um. So in I the east, it, in the east, yeah, I have it. I have it pulled up in the Eastern Conference Finals. We had Bleach and Yu Yu Hakusho. And I'm not gonna lie, we were talking about this a little bit before we started, but 
I had bleach in, I had bleach either going all the way through um, to the finals or at or least, like, from, uh, or at least the, getting yeah. that far. But man, Bleach has been the dark horse. I didn't expect Bleach to get this far. Yeah, because Bleach boy. got plenty of haters, bro. Like I love Bleach. You love Bleach. Yes. But Chris and Malcolm both hate Bleach, and but, uh, they're not the only ones. Like Bleach is kind of a. Uh, it's one of those ones where you either love it or you hate it. Yeah, my, I think because it doesn't have a lot of people that are like, ah, oh, it's alright. It, you feel very strongly about Bleach one way or the other. But I remember the last conversation where like, uh, where Chris was like. Bleach was mid, and Malcolm was like, <laughs> I can't get through, like, five episodes. The problem is the characters in Bleach, so the protagonist, Ichigo, the accompanying characters, everybody in the, the you know, in the spirit realm, everybody. Yeah. All um, the captains, all the vice captains. Yeah, all, they everybody. make the show worth watching, and those yeah. fight scenes make that show worth watching, even though some of the arcs are mid. And so, like, I feel like and there's I told you, I said this last time there's somebody actually did I think it's a reddit or something of like how you should watch the show and all the unnecessary arcs that you can skip yeah, right all past the filler. cause if you want I mean not even just like they filler's fine but I think they literally have just bad arcs like and so I think it's if just, you yeah. are able to kind of get around like the bounce and get around the full brain and all of that <laughs> the bounce arc was weird not, yes it was weird that was a weird arc <laughs> I like. I don't know. I'm like, are this you vampires? Re- this nigga they was reaching when really? he. Yeah, I'm like, nigga, <laughs> vampires. Come on, right. this ain't it, bro. Yeah. This nigga got on the Twilight fix before he before he started writing that out. Yeah, that I'm arc. like, you gotta come on, bro. S- stop watching American TV. Apparently, yeah, right. we is influencing the that wrong ain't it, stuff. That ain't it. But like, I feel like with Bleach because of how popular all of those elements yeah. are I think that that's what kind of got it through the final round because I don't I can't say that like and there was honestly Bleach stand past a lot of really good anime and did. I'm like I can't really say that they was the, um, those are like I can't say Bleach was better than like two I think the last two that it went up against I can't say that yeah because Bleach made it through let's just let's just recap yeah, Bleach, yeah, yeah. Bleach's it. journey to get here yeah Bleach beat Jujutsu Kaisen it, I mean, that's Bleach, close. Yeah. Which everybody's saying that Jujutsu Kaisen is supposed to be the new Bleach, but new and improved. And right. And I tell them they're wrong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Bleach beat Jujutsu Kaisen. Bleach beat Demon Slayer. Yeah, which is also like... So, which, which I'm not mad not, at, but yeah, it's also which, like... I mean, Demon Slayer right now is arguably one of, if yeah. not the most popular anime, right? Especially yeah. after that movie, The Mugen Train came out. Which was really good. That movie did the best for any, I think, animated movie ever, mm-hmm. at least for the U.S. opening. Yes, like, it did. That movie killed in the theaters. Was, yeah, and it was and it was good. And it, it was, was a, a good, good movie. movie. Which which was kind of weird that they went back and they did a whole arc. In between which the was arc. the same thing, but <laughs> we're not, right. whatever. That's the here or there. Right. So, all that to say, Bleach actually beat Yu Yu Hakusho that in, was the most... in the Eastern Conference Finals to get to the finals. the showdown, the final. That, that was the most yeah. surprising thing. That is, be. yeah. And that's because I thought that our audience was what would majority, rock with Yu Yu Hakusho, yeah, right? Yeah, I thought it was like majority millennial who, like, me and the rest of us yeah. have just watched you. I've watched through Yu Yu Hakusho so yeah. many times within, you know, like just right. in my life. But that's not, the, I don't think that's the case. Right. Because Yu Yu Hakusho is, is about a decade older than Bleach. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? And so it's like Bleach came out in like 2000s. And so I'm like, oh, okay. I see what's <laughs> going on here. Now, I don't think that that would uh, that won't inform me what will happen next but yeah. i do think that i'm like i, I didn't see that coming because like yeah. i can't say that yu yu haka show is worse than bleach i can't say right. it out loud like you know <laughs> i like it i'm a bleach i'm the bleach guy like yeah, but right. i can't say it yeah. out loud so that was that was like i actually predicted that but i'm not shocked right um or i should say i predicted that but i am shocked that bleach beat out yu haka show yeah. Just on Yu Haka shows a uh, nostalgia factor alone. Yeah. So that was the Eastern Conference Finals, and then in the Western Conference we had One Piece and Naruto. That one was so close, yeah. man. Which like, I, which makes sense. Which does make sense. Bleach and Yu Haka show. Bleach won both in our Facebook poll and our Instagram poll. Yeah. Um, One Piece. This this battle was tighter because One Piece lost in our Instagram poll or in our Facebook poll to Naruto by like three or four votes. But then it had like, it was like 
60 30 or 60 40 or 70 30 whatever in our instagram so it was like it blew naruto out of the water in the instagram poll so i'm like damn it's what i will say and this is what i was saying from the beginning for one piece the thing about one piece is it's so popular right now like the current arc is arguably yeah it's it's arguably the best arc in in the show yeah you can speak and, and like you know and i've I've seen a lot, of, even though One Piece is is older than most of these, or yeah. it's one of the oldest ones on here, other than the comedy one that was yeah. in the Easter. Uh, what is that one? The weird, um, the weird one that was in the wild card. Oh, Gintama. Yeah, it's about as old as yeah. that one. Yeah, and um, but it's lasted so long, and it's like accumulated fans over time. Yeah, One Piece has even now, like the cosplay for One Piece is like. All, always everywhere all over the place especially on my tiktok one piece like, is the goat i i can't be mad at that it, and also goat. like i think i like i'm don't get me wrong i've only watched like this is gonna sound blasphemous i've only watched about 10 episodes of one piece i i like it <laughs> i like the story better than naruto like i think yeah. i don't know there's something about it it's some i think you know i think it's something about the story that they're similar but I think it's something about it, you know. So our finals are Ooh, One Piece and Bleach. One Piece and Bleach. Uh, two of the big three. And, and that two is of the also big three. really funny that two of the big three made all it three all of them made all through. three of them made it to the yeah, fi- all, all three of them made the, it to the just semifinals. one of you know. Yeah. That's mm. that's hey man, the old heads have spoken. There we go. The old heads have spoken. Beat I'm out not, the new the new big three as we're calling them with of Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, right? And, Which. And, and uh, I mean, and this Black is Clover, all... or I don't even know who the third they consider right now. I don't even know. It's, I know it's Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer. I forget the third one is it nowadays. They're calling the other of the big three. Yeah, it's, yeah. I have to look. I have it's to, probably. Uh, I mean, low key, it is probably either like Black Clover or like um, My Hero, maybe My Hero. But, but I, that just goes to show you that, and even with our audience, is that the big the big 3 the influence of the big 3 so obviously big 3 is like a statistical thing right it's based, right, so, so based on yeah it's based on facts however <laughs> that oh, sorry <laughs> be your phone scary. doesn't get that the big 3 is always going to be the big 3 right you got to <laughs> understand that but i think that that I, even though that big 3 is based is a statistical kind of analysis the impact of the big 3 it's, it's the cult status. Yeah, it's like it's just it's something that you know, something to be revered. Like you can't you can't downplay that. Even yeah. if you're like, well, it's just because they were they they were here before, but I think that there were all a lot of those were there before the current, you know, the um Jujutsu Kaisens and the I'm not, talking about the ones that are shorter, Jujutsu yeah, Kaisen, right. My Hero, Demon Slayer, even like a lot of those ones on that playoff list were that have been here before and have even lasted. Some of them are still current, but the big three, man, can't, can't underestimate it. Can't do it. So awesome. Yeah. So well, next week we'll have yeah next week we'll have our uh, our showdown of um, One Piece and, and Bleach. Yes. For the finals. Yeah. So, oh, well, actually, it'll. It'll probably be it'll be a couple couple weeks, weeks. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a couple weeks. But the next the next result, yeah, the, so we'll, we'll put keep the, we'll, yeah, we'll put the polls up um, on Facebook and Instagram. Yep. Um, so go ahead and vote, get those votes in, and then it'll be interesting to see who yeah. who prevails. Yeah, and this didn't change. Y'all stay colorful. Peace. <laughs>